Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.57. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. As many New Iberia residents know, the road issues have been a problem for a very long time in the city. Mayor Freddie DeCourt has taken it upon himself to listen to what the public has to say about everything he has set up in the front of City Hall for the past three days. I'm News 10's Brett LaFasso. A Lafayette man is dead and another man is in jail after a homicide at an apartment complex Wednesday afternoon. 20-year-old Dylan Louvier has been arrested and charged with second-degree murder. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodrika Taylor. A mother speaks out after her daughter was sent to the hospital and her jaw broken in a home invasion. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. A Lafayette father went to Facebook to express his frustration after an illegally parked car used the blue lines near a handicapped spot as a parking space. He says he just wants people to be aware of the lines so people with wheelchairs can access their vehicles. The St. Martin Parish Sheriff's Office has been awarded for their professionalism by the Commission of Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies. The agency is one of five in the state of Louisiana awarded with this honor. Former LPD officer Pablo Estrada's termination of Hill hearing before the Lafayette Municipal Fire and Police Civil Service Board has been rescheduled for January. The board is seeking more information about the board's right to issue subpoenas. Lake Charles police arrested a 20-year-old Welsh man in connection to the shooting that left eight people injured early Wednesday morning. Acadiana Eats this morning making a trip to Laurelville for the very first time, baby. Show you right. How about a little Snowball Express? Enjoyed my meal. And Acadiana, I know you will too. Don't forget the full edition of Acadiana Eats airs tonight at 5 p.m. Man, that's some good looking food right there. Seven day forecast shows lower 60s for today, mid 70s for tomorrow. 80 degrees Saturday and warm temperatures through Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. I'm not mad at that weather, Trevor. You did mention that we should have our jackets this morning, but throughout the day we can kind of start taking them off, right? Because it'll get warmer yeah, throughout the day. Yeah, you definitely may need it this morning. Upper mm -hmm. 30s, lower 40s, unless you want to brave the cold temperatures for a few hours. It'll be nice and warm later this afternoon. Yeah, and then it's also perfect weather for those drive through Christmas events yep. or like we mentioned, Acadian Village, which Acadiana Live will be uh, live also, Yeah, right? we will be there tomorrow at 3.30, so awesome. go ahead and watch that. Well, thank you for joining us at Paws. For Paws, catch us for Meet Your Neighbor.